What's up, Kyle Gang? All right, so we got this crazy pulley problem going on here. So let's go ahead and solve it. So first of all, we're gonna find what force P is needed in order to hold this system in the way that it is. So let's go ahead and do that. So what do we know about this? Well, we know that tension is kind of conserved. So if you pull here, you pull here, it's the same tension. Same thing around this whole thing. The tension in this rope and this rope and this rope is gonna be the same. So what you might wanna end up doing is finding a b and taking that as a segment and then taking this as a segment so let's go ahead and start at this pulley here we're going to take this pulley here and redraw it and make a force body diagram out of it so we're looking at this pulley so this is p we're going to label this tension b because this is the tension pulling up at b so that's just why we're labeling it that and then we know that there's also this tension here and we're just going to label by big t so that's the tension that's holding up the pulley attached to here, attached to A. So if we have this force body diagram system here, we can say that the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero, because we know we're at equilibrium, and so it's gonna be equal to big T pulling upward minus tension of B minus P. So also what do we know about this? Well, we just said earlier that we know that this tension is gonna be the same as this tension. If you pull on a pulley and it's in equilibrium, the tension is going to be the same on both sides. So we know that tension of B is equal to P. So let's go ahead and plug this in here. So then we're going to get zero is equal to T minus tension of B minus tension of B. So then we can say that we know that T is equal to two times tension of B. So this is going to be a useful thing we have. So let's write this over here. T is equal to two tension in B. Okay, so that's how we did this part. So let's go ahead and do another one. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna go over to AB now. So why do we wanna use AB? Well, we know that we're looking for this tension here and we know that this tension is equal to this tension. But we're looking for P, right? So we know that P is equal to this tension. And then we know that in AB, the sum of the forces are equal to zero. So it's gonna make more sense when we do the math, hopefully. So here we have A. And here we have B, and we've got forces. So there's gonna be a force pulling up at A, right? And what is this force? Well, like we said earlier, this is tension T. The force pulling here, we label to be T. So we know that around all these pulleys, it's gonna be T here, T here. So this ends up being the same T we found earlier. This tension is the same as this tension. Makes sense. So then, also at B, we have this force pulling up. And like we said earlier, this is same as P, or we said P is equal to TB. So this is tension at B. So then all we have is this here, the six kilonewton force pulling here. So now let's look at this system and let's do some of the forces in the y direction. So some of the forces in the y is equal to zero, we're at equilibrium. That's equal to tension, the big T, plus tension of B, minus six. But then we have this equation here, right? Tension is equal to two times tension of B. So let's put that into here. So zero is equal to two tension of B plus tension of B minus six. So combining these terms and moving the six over, we get six is equal to three tension of B. And then tension of B is equal to two. So if tension of B is equal to two and tension of B is equal to P, then we found out that P is equal to two kilonewtons. So yeah, that is a little confusing. Hopefully that makes sense to you all. Uh, it's basically, it's confusing, but yeah, hopefully you, you stuck with it. So let's go ahead and get rid of this now. And now we want to find the distance that X needs to be. So that's part B, is we're going to find this distance of X in order for it to stay flat. So if you're finding distance, usually you want to do a moment, right? Because moment has distance in the equation. So let's take some of the moments around A. And we're just looking at this force body diagram that we drew of just AB. You know that sum of the moments is equal to zero, and we're looking at A, so T is not there. So it's gonna be, this is distance X. So we're gonna take six, so six is making it wanna go clockwise, so we're gonna subtract six, and then it's distance, which is X, and that's where the X comes in. And then we know that the length of the polar rod, let's consider this. So this, this uh, hopefully, so feel free to look back at the image if this is confusing to you. But this 0.9 is from the center of the, the pulley to the center of the pulley. 
and then the radius of the pulley is still 0.11 meters. So that means that there's an extra distance here until we get to A. So then this one, it goes down, and then it goes over one, and then it comes back one. So the full distance is the 0.9 plus the 0.1 meter here. So when we're taking tension of B, we're going to take it times the distance of one meter. That's the total distance there. So then, of course, uh, all we need to do is solve for x, so let's do that over. So 6x is equal to tension of B, which we found here is 2 kilonewtons. 2. Divide by that, and you're going to get x is equal to 0 0.333 meters. So there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. It's a little tricky, but I do enough uh, pulley problems, and they're all kind of the same. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Feel free to come to my channel if you have any questions, ask any questions. Um, and yeah, check out my playlist. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.